Hello there again. It's that wrench gear here. Got another little project on go here again. We always got projects going. <clears throat> Can you believe the weather today? Absolutely phenomenal. This is mid February of 2023. Unbelievable. Anyway, I woke up this morning and I saw this weather and I went, holy cow, look at how beautiful it is. They're actually calling for massive amounts of freezing rain tomorrow in this area. Got all kinds of weather statements out and everything else. But for today, we're, for today, we're like this. So I woke up this morning and went, you know, this is looking like a nice spring day. And I thought, geez, you know, spring's only a month or two away. And after that, it's camping season. Oh, camping. Got to start ramping up for camping. Beautiful. And I remember that uh, last year at the end of camping season there, I wrote myself a note and said, I'm almost out of fire starters. And anybody who knows when you're camping and you're trying to get all your uh, wet firewood going that they sell at the local parks, uh, you know, they. I think in the off season, eh, they, 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 store the, uh, they store the firewood at the bottom of the lake during the off season. And then they bring it out and they sell it to you and that stuff is so wet you'll never get it going. So you need good strong fire starters that last for a long time to get them going. So today is the day we're going to start on making some fire starters. So I'm just out here picking up a couple of little supplies for it. Very simple, very easy to do. I'm over here at the uh, the local junk store. I'm going to try and hide the name here. I don't want anybody to see what it is. Used secondhand junk store here. We're going to pick up a few things. So we're going to take a walk in there and... Uh, See what we got. Don't look at that guy's license plate. Don't want to see that guy's license plate. All right, here we go. We're heading in. Got lots of people here. Here's your seniors save 30 bucks, 30 percent on Tuesday. Oh, today's Wednesday. Oh, okay, well, whatever. All right, here we go. All right, I'm in the middle middle of the candle section here, and big assortment. But you know, half these candles are real and half of them are fake. They take batteries. But anyway, I need to get some wax to melt, so I'm gonna take these two right here. I think they're gonna be the best deal, and they're gonna work out good. All right, so I got those, and uh, we're heading back out here, and uh, I got to make one more stop for. One more item before we head back home and get this all underway. All right, so next door over here is the uh, regular dollar store. We're gonna head in there and see what they got for me. Hopefully they got, I'm pretty sure they do what I need and uh, gonna head home and start getting this stuff on the go. I'm in the right aisle here now. I've been looking and looking. You know, this is a dollar store, but there's nothing in here that's a dollar for crying out loud. Here, look here, so 450, whatever. Anyway, here we got this stuff here. I'm gonna take some of these here. Buck and a quarter. There's nothing in a dollar store that is a dollar. Oh well. That's how it is. I'm gonna grab these and get out of here. Alright, thank you. Yeah, all right, we got this stuff we're heading out. And time to uh, time to head home and get this stuff underway. All right, so here we are a few days later. We uh, put this off for a couple of days. You know, the weather was so nice there that other day. I thought, geez, you know what? I'm going to get some outdoor work done. I had a few little things. Uh, my daughter's uh, car needed the uh, brakes checked on it and such, and it was such a beautiful day. I thought, I'm going to put this stuff on hold, this whole uh, fire starter business on hold, and we're going to get a few things done. And it was a good thing because the next day, boy, it was uh, it was horrible here. All the freezing rain and everything went on. Yeah, and today's a, uh, today's a, a, a nice looking day outside, but uh, geez, I was out earlier, and uh, boy, is it ever cold, and there's a bit of a breeze. It's uh, ripping through, so... That today is going to be the day to do these fire starters. Uh, it's Saturday now, and uh, I got the house empty here, so I'm going to get onto this by myself. This actually would be a really good project uh, for people to do with their kids. You know, uh, a little bit of work in the kitchen here, and uh, and it turns out good. You know, but um, 
I get to get this all wrapped up. Tomorrow's Daytona 500. Woo! Daytona again. It's Daytona Day tomorrow. So I got to get that all, uh, get this all wrapped up. So tomorrow I can get a, we're going to have a pizza party and everything on the go here. And uh, hope your favorite driver does good for you. Of course, I hope your favorite driver is my favorite driver because that's who I need to win. But anyway, uh, so we're going to get back to this stuff here. So um, I need to melt those. Those are the candles there, what we bought. And I need to melt these things all up um, so we can use the uh, the liquid wax on them. And uh, so we're going to we're gonna get into doing a little bit of that right now. We're going to get this all going. So to help melt this wax, uh, we're going to chop this thing, uh, these things up into a bunch of little pieces because it seems to always go a little bit better. So out of these two candles, I'm not sure how many fire starters I'm going to get out of this. So... You know, if people are wondering how much wax I've got here, this is uh, four inches and four as well, give or take. And where are we at here? Let me go around this way. Two and a half, I guess. <clears throat> and two and three quarters. So four by two and three quarters. And we're going to call this four by two and a half, whatever. Anyway, uh, I'm not sure how many fire starters we're going to get out of this, but that'll give you an idea of how much wax I've used to do this, and we'll figure it all out in the end. So we're going to get these stickers off of here. And, uh, oh, there you go. Is that always the way they put all that goo on there and you can never get it off? All right, here. Oh, look there, that one fell off by itself. All right, okay. Get rid of that mess. So, uh, all right, stuck to my finger. What the heck? Get rid of that stuff. So to, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to chop these things all up using one of these here. This thing is uh, so dull. I could barely butter this sandwich with it. It's my lunch. All right, so. We're going to uh, we're going to cut this up. So this is the part of the project that you probably don't want to have your kids helping you with, but uh, we're going to try and chop this stuff all up and uh, get it into something a little bit smaller. Hey, look out! See that? Your kid would have been doing that. He would have lost his arm. So maybe uh, oh geez, these are a little bit tougher than I thought they were going to be. These candles. Okay, there they're chomping it off here. So we're gonna, we're gonna try and do this without losing any uh, any crucial body parts. And uh, just gonna work around like that and chunk them off. Pull that wick out, we don't need that wick. Yeah. Don't get the wax in your sandwich. Cause that's no fun. Yeah, all right. Okay, I'm not going to bore you with all this, but I'm going to get these two things all chunked up here. So those are all chopped up there now, and uh, that's going to help them go all a little bit faster. Melting them in small pieces seem to go quicker than one big piece. But uh, anyway, uh, I don't know if you can tell the difference uh, between the two different candles. This one here is a little bit whiter, the wax. It's not going to matter, but it's got some perfume in there. It's a little bit, it's a scented candle, I guess. It's a little bit smelly. So uh, hopefully that'll help to uh, drive all the mosquitoes away from your campsite, eh? Maybe a bonus in here, so that's good. So anyway, we're going to uh, we're gonna get to uh, melting this stuff up. So the best way I've found to uh, melt wax on the stove is to do the old uh, double boiler method. You know, a pot inside of a pot of water boiling away and all that. But you don't want, you know, wax. When this stuff cools off, it's going to be making a big stick, sticky mess. So you don't want to be using any of your good pots and pans. So I used to have an old an old aluminum pot that I used to do this in. But I haven't done this for like two years. Or, you know what, maybe even three years now. The whole pandemic thing here has got you losing track of time. And uh, so I've misplaced the pot that I used to use for this. So here's an old crappy frying pan that's uh, destined for the garbage. We don't use this anymore. So I grabbed that out of the, out of the garage here. We're going to fill that thing full of water. 
and get it boiling. And I hope this is going to work. I hope I can get a good enough amount of water in there. And then what I'm going to do for the for the double boiling part is I'm just going to use an old soup can here. We're going to stick that in there. We're going to uh, get that rolling boil of water, and we're going to start dumping all the uh, start dumping all the wax in there to get it going. And uh, fingers crossed, this is uh, going to be how we're doing it this time. Uh, I usually do the I usually do the soup can, but like I said, I usually have a taller pot. And I always seem to, when I'm, I don't know, I always seem to be dropping bits and pieces of wax in here and it melts and it gets all on the inside of the pot. So you don't want to be using a good one. But um, this is nice. You can fill it up and then you can squish it and, you know, do one of these for pouring it out and what have you and the whole bit. So anyway, we're going to see how this all goes. We're going to get this all rolling. All right, so we got this all set up. Got some wax in here, dump a little bit more in, whatever. Have a bite of sandwich. Wait for this stuff all to get melting. It's going to be good. All right, so things are uh, moving along pretty fast here, actually. It came to uh, it came to a boil here. It's starting to move the can around. But uh, we're getting some wax melting down in there, so we're going to just keep uh, adding a little bit more into it until... Till everything's gone and we got a can full of melted wax. So I chopped this stuff all up a little bit uh, smaller here. Normally I never make it this small, these little, these little bits here. But I think uh, because I'm using a frying pan here that's uh, got a less amount of water in it the water isn't coming up so high along the side of the can and I think that um, this this stuff is well I don't know if it's trying to cool off inside a little bit or what it's doing but it's not melting all that well as it did when when I first started so um, I think what I might have to do is I might have to actually get this out uh, and make some fire starters already and then uh, and then start over again with his wax, and it's maybe going to have to be in uh, in uh, two or three stages compared to I normally do it in just well, maybe one or two. But I think it's going to take a little bit more. So uh, we're going to kind of go on to the next part of the project here before uh, I add too much more wax into here. So we're going to start making up some of these uh, fire starters while this uh, pot is boiling all this wax. So get yourself an egg curtain as such <clears throat> and uh, and we're going to tear the top and off of it and tear this guy off of it I got that here already <clears throat> so you wind up with this and I got a half of one here as well or so I put it down on here some of these things sometimes they'll have uh, they have holes or slots or what what have you cut in the bottom there and it that wax oozes out and whatever um, and honestly you know what some of these things are smaller some some manufacturers of these <clears throat> make these bigger and smaller and what have you these ones are pretty big so they're gonna use a lot of wax and um, they're also gonna burn for a long long time we're gonna cut these all up and you're gonna have 12 individual ones um, but they are quite big and this thing one of those is gonna burn uh, honestly that's gonna burn for probably 10 minutes anyway when you put it uh, to start your campfire so sometimes what I do depending on how uh, how wet or dry my firewood is um, I might actually take these if I have really dry firewood and when this is an individual one I might actually cut that in half at the campsite uh, because it's not necessary to to use a whole one and then you just go through them too fast so so we're gonna get on to that so um so now you take these uh, these cotton balls here what we bought over at the store there the other day and uh, tear them open oh geez here this stuff's childproof you can't get in hey look out all right and uh, and we're gonna we're gonna take a bunch of these cotton balls and we're gonna stick them in there. 
And we're going to start off with one in each. And then uh, I'm going to probably, I'm uh, probably going to pack some, pack, well, see now these ones here seem a little bit smaller. And that's probably a little bit better. So we're going to, we're going to go this way here. You can use other things in here. I used to make them out of dryer lint instead of these cotton balls. Works perfectly fine. So I'm going to take a little bit more. I'm going to tear these in half. I'm going to stick a little bit more into them because they're so big and deep. I used to use dryer lint to make these things, but uh, you know, dryer lint's dryer lint, and you you pull it out of the out of the dryer trap or out of the garbage can where you threw it in last week when you're doing laundry and you're putting your next load of clothes in the dryer and you pull it out and it's full of bits of things and hair and and all kinds of wonderful stuff so I've kind of gotten away from doing that um, other people use sawdust in here and I have tons of sawdust out in the shop um, honestly, I've never made made these out of sawdust before, um, and maybe I maybe that would have been a good try on this this one here. But you know, this is for me. This is like a proven method, so you know, why not just stick with what you know? So um, I'm going to start pouring this stuff in here. So I have uh, I have that is one one of my candles are in there the whole candle is in so we're gonna we're gonna go with this and see how this goes so the cans the cans not hot I'm holding the can with my bare hands um, you know what get yourself some uh, I don't know if you want to use oven mitts you want to be able to grab that grab that can solidly and not have the thing slip out of your hands and spill on the floor and on your feet and legs and whatever else but maybe I don't know some gardening gloves or whatever. But I'm just I'm just gonna do this by hand because the can isn't that hot. I'm just squeezing the top of it shut a little bit, and make it easier to pour. And um, and yeah, I'm just I got it here in my bare hands, and it's all good. So we're gonna see how far this goes. And um, so we're just gonna pour them in and just fill these things all up. And uh, you know what? That's hot. Hot on the bottom, not hot up here. So we're going to grab something here. And uh, let me just put that back in there for a second. And we're going to uh, just use something that I can kind of control that can a little bit better. All right, here we're going to do this. I got some of these here just to help tip that up a little bit. And, uh, yeah, it's just a matter of filling these things up. And after these things cool off, I'm gonna we're gonna cut one or two of them off. You can you can you can leave them all together like this and just take them to the campsite like this and just uh, bust them apart at the campsite. But a lot of times, what I just do to make things a little bit easier when you're camping. All right, so that's that. <clears throat> I just I cut these all up at home here, and I uh, I just throw them in a in a plastic bag and throw them in with my camping stuff. And then you can just reach in and grab one. But anyway, so he's uh, he's empty. We've got uh, ten of them there, and uh, I'm going to open this back up some, and we're going to get them back in to the uh, back into the water, and we're going to start melting more wax. So yeah. So while we're waiting for more to boil up, I've just been taking a little bit more of uh, this and just filling these up a little bit more. You don't want to pack them too tight. They got to be a little bit loose. I can put a little bit more in. But as you can see here, some one of these here did have a hole or whatever, and some of this wax is is coming out. So I'm just scraping that up and uh, and dropping that right back into the right into the can over here, and keep it going. We'll, we'll melt it up and keep using it all. <clears throat> so uh, 
yeah so yeah I just uh, just fill these things up a little bit more what the heck and get them all saturated with that wax and uh, like I said we're gonna we're gonna cut these we're gonna cut one or two of these off here later and we're gonna we're gonna light them up and uh, we're gonna see how long they take for for full for a full size one to burn and for a uh, I'll cut one in half and get a uh, get a half one going there too. And we'll time them and see how long they how long they last for. Anyway, I think uh, I think that's enough in these here. That's probably almost two full cotton balls in each one of these. And uh, yeah, we'll call that good. Wait for the rest of this uh, for this uh, wax melt here and get going on more of them. All right, so you got to uh, keep an eye on your on your boiling water here because it is evaporating and leaving so I just had to fill a little bit more up in there and had to wait for it to come back to a boil but uh, that's where we're at down there I gotta throw a little bit more in this is all we got left just kind of uh, powder and what have you so we're gonna dump that in get it melted and uh, fill this guy up and then just a matter of uh, letting it all cool off and we'll have fire starters made all right, so we're gonna give this here a go and um, see how far we get on this. I uh, got this. Almost seems like I have more in the can this time than what I did last time. So um, here, I'm pick this out. So we're gonna see how far this goes, and maybe I'm gonna have to come up with another. I might have to cut one or two more little pieces to go off here. So we're gonna get this all in there. Oh, exciting stuff. This is good. It's dripping off the back of the can. Stop dripping. All right. Don't want that dripping on the countertop. Oh, hey, look out. Damn, I was splashing on the countertop, so that's good. Now I'm going to be in trouble again. I tell you, I'm always getting into trouble. So here, let's get these here done. All right, yeah, I got a bunch left in there. I think I'll maybe just drizzle it over the top there and and see or uh, <clears throat> see. Maybe I'll make some. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep that boiling for now. Just till I decide what I'm gonna do with that. I don't know if I'm gonna fill these up a little bit more. They seem like they've gone down some. I might, uh, might fill them up or I might uh, make a couple of more of these for here. We'll see how it goes. So what I'm going to do, I think these these have gone down some. I didn't, some of them have leaked out the bottom there and what have you. I think I'm just going to take the rest of this wax and I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to, oh geez, well there's a lot in there. I just dreamt a bunch of water into that. Okay. Well, we'll see how far this goes anyway. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just top these up a little bit. Otherwise, I have to cut open another egg curtain, and you know how difficult that is. That's pretty big stuff for a guy like me. So, uh, we're going to just, oh, jeez. <laughs> there's, there's lots in there yet. Oh, well, okay. Well, maybe I'm going to, maybe I'm going to cut that thing open, cut another one or two open. All right, I got a couple more there. And, uh. See how far now now this wax won't be enough to do this all. But anyway, we'll get this all get this done. And uh get her going here. Jeez. Okay, well I cut three on purpose just in case. So we're gonna we're gonna do this anyway here like so. All right, that's it. Probably gonna have some wax leaking out of the bottom of one or two of these things here yet, and <clears throat> maybe gonna use that up and remelt it while it's still going, and uh, and top these up a little bit more yet. 
but that's about it. So what do we got here? We got uh, 12 and 8 is uh, 20 or so. We got 23 here. And there's, uh, like I said, there's, oh, there's wax. Oh, I gotta let that seal up. I just tried to scrape up some wax out of the back here, and this one here started emptying out into it. So we're gonna push that back into there. <clears throat> anyway, so we got about 23 of 23 starters out of uh, out of those two candles, and um, you know, just screwing around here. I've been at this for I don't know. I've been at this for an hour, maybe whatever. And uh, and you know, there's four dollars worth of candles, and you know. A buck and a half for these things and of course you only use a quarter of the bag so uh, I don't know this stuff turns out to be cheap and they're good and reliable and uh, they work great so we're gonna let I'm gonna put these out in the front porch and we're gonna let them uh, cool off outside in the cold weather and um, we're gonna we're gonna cut some up and uh, and light them up and see how they go Okay, so we're going to uh, try and light some of these up. We're outside here, out on the back deck. <clears throat> and um, these things have been out here for oh, probably close to an hour, an hour or whatever. And they're all cool and solid and what have you. So we're going to cut one or two of these off. And we're going to time it. We're going to try and time it. Alright, so these were, the, these were the smaller ones. So we're going to time... A uh, couple smaller ones here and see how long they last. We're going to cut a full one off of there and we're going to yeah, I might just break them off. Are they breaking off? Yeah, we're going to cut them. Let's see. Try not to lose your finger. Alright. So we cut them off of there. We're going to try these Try these two, so we're going to cut this in half again into a full one. Try not to lose your finger, your thumb. So you have one full one. I've got two full ones. Here I'm wiggling the camera all around. So there's two full ones. We're going to cut this guy in half again. And we're going to see. I'm going to get a piece of it wood here to use as a chopping block like this because I don't feel like leaking a whole bunch of red stuff out of me today okay here all right baby come on okay well I, th <laughs> I think they're, they're frozen out here usually they're not this tough to to cut okay he's going he's gonna go all right Okay, so, uh, yeah, it would normally be easier than that. I think they're frozen out here today. It's cold out here today. Jeez, it's uh, it's freezing. It's below zero Celsius. It's, I don't know what it is. It's 29 Fahrenheit or something like that. Here, watch this. This is a, this is one of these here uh, snap-off blades. That thing's, I got it hanging out so long there, it's going to snap off and it's going to come out and get me. So we're going to go a little bit shorter with it. And I'm wiggling the camera all over the place because I'm struggling. Okay, here he comes. <clears throat> so people are going to say now, hey, I'm not going to bother cutting them in half. Look at how difficult it is. Yeah, it's normally not that difficult. Anyway, so there we've got them in half. Almost in half. I'll use the smaller one of the two even, the smaller half. So we've got a full one and a smaller half and we'll light them up and see how it goes so with these things here i don't have a whole lot of firewood here because eh, it's middle of winter time we used it all up at camping in the fall did a bunch of september camping and it was good and cold <clears throat> but what i normally do is i will take a piece of uh i will take a piece of um firewood here's a chunk of slab slab wood I'll just get a flyer wood that's got a somewhat of a flat surface on it and I'll just I'll just stick it flat side up and I'll kind of wiggle it down into the ashes of the fire pit that's already there but this one here is kind of big to stick it up on top of this bar back here so I got a, 
I got a smaller one here that I ran through the planer once or twice because I was using that board for some stuff. So we're going to put him this way. And usually what I do is I'll just, I just put that thing there and uh, get out your trusty, uh, your trusty barbecue lighter here. You know what the caveman said, right? The guy with the flame is the guy with all the power. So anyway, usually I'll just, uh, you know, you just start up a corner of this thing. And he gets going. And I just set it on there. And now you can walk over and get your firewood and do whatever you all got to do. And so I just grabbed a couple of little pieces of cutoffs here. So I'll stick one right up alongside it usually and stick another one right beside it this way and lean them up and stick another one here. And I'll just do that. And that's enough to make your, your bonfire get going. Your campfire, like you don't have to worry about kindling, no nothing. Anyway, I'm gonna get this all out of here before it actually takes off on me. Because I don't want to burn all that stuff. But anyway, I'm going to uh I'm gonna here's the half of one. I'm gonna start up this half. If I can get it going. And there it goes. So I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a timer here of sorts going. Um, my regular timer just broke, <laughs> so I'm using my travel alarm clock. And uh, and we're gonna put that out here. So this is showing. Uh, well, it's showing like one. That means one o'clock, but it's gonna time. It's going to time the uh, the minutes down, and we'll see how long this is going. So that big one's been going for maybe a minute already. And this thing is at the... Uh, so we're going to wait. That's like 1 o'clock. So we're going to wait for the minutes to count up here, and we'll see what happens. See how long these things last. So they're going pretty good there now. And... Uh, I'm uh, I'm not going to bore you with 10 minutes of this thing here going, so I'm going to start and stop here a couple of times. And uh, we're still less than a minute on them. But that big one maybe started a minute, minute before I actually got that clock going. Well, we'll see how long it lasts. Anyway, if you would have had um, a crumpled up chunk of newspaper or something in there, uh, it would have flamed out a long time ago. So, uh, so anyway, like I said, I'm not going to bore everybody to death with this. I'm going to turn this off here for a minute or two, and we'll turn it back on when we get some minutes onto them. Okay, so here we are. We're at uh, we're six minutes in, and that one's probably at about seven. But uh, it's still going good, you know. It's um, uh, I wouldn't say that. Let me let me see here. I would. I think the little one has actually started started this piece of wood on fire. Oh, maybe not. Maybe a little bit. I think that might be from some of the some of the wax that has uh, leaked out of there, melted and leaked out. Tried to start that on fire, but he's still going. So, um, so yeah, we're at six minutes. I almost should have done this on a brick just to make sure that we weren't seeing the, this wood, this wood start on fire, but that wood is, uh, it's going a little bit, but that, uh, that is definitely still on, on the go. And so is this one here is definitely still on the go. And we're at, uh, we're at seven minutes in. But by now your uh, by now your campfire would have started by now anyway, uh, especially on that little one. If you had uh, if you had good dry firewood um, for camping, uh, that little one would have gotten it going by now. So uh, anyway, we'll uh, we'll pause this here again for a bit. We're at seven. Uh, it's gonna both pop over to eight here in a second. Got a few seconds. So that little guy, he's almost out, but he is still going, still going. Not much left of him anymore. 
but this guy here's still going strong and that this one here was well it was less than half of the size of that maybe a maybe a third of the size of it so he's pretty much out there now so we're gonna call him we're gonna call him eight minutes because he's out but uh, we'll watch that big one go for yeah you know that thing's gonna go for a while it um it's trying to start that wood on fire that it's sitting on but anyway okay so that big one just flamed out i wish i would have caught it on the camera it was just uh I turned around and looked and all of a sudden he just he flamed out. But anyway, he's at um he's at ten minutes there now. But uh yeah, he just flamed out. So he's at ten minutes now. I think it was at nine there when it flamed out, nine and a half type of thing, and it was on for about a minute before I even got this thing going, so we'll call it ten minutes. You know, it was just flamed out at nine and it was on for a minute before that we'll call it 10 minutes so you know if your um if your firewood doesn't start in your campfire there uh in 10 minutes <laughs> uh you better get out the can of gas or whatever you need to do well don't do that but yeah anyway these things last for a good long time last good easy to make and um you know, you can do that, like I said, you can do that with the kids or whatever on a Saturday afternoon like this and uh, have a little bit of fun in the kitchen, show them a little bit of responsibility, teach them about fire and see how uh, dangerous and whatever you get burned in the whole bit. But um, anyway, we're going to call it uh, quits on this one here. I've been rambling long enough. So anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching this and I hope you got something out of it. Please, uh, please leave a comment there to tell me that uh, you enjoyed this and got something out of it or you didn't like it and uh, whatever. But please uh, uh, like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and uh, help my little channel to grow a little bit more. Maybe we can bring you something along the lines again. So until next time, this is Wrench Gear and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bring something more to you. Thanks.